Hi, this is Paul Haar from the Saxophonist Magazine, and I'm here with a review of the new double alto and soprano case by BAM. You know, I've always been a fan of BAM cases. <clears throat> I got my first case, a trekking case, 20 years ago at the 2002 North American Saxophone Alliance Conference. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before. It was made out of foam and cordura, and it was so light, but it seemed to really protect the instrument well. I was a little apprehensive, especially because of the price, which was high, and I said to myself, you know what? Splurge, if anything, you're going to have the case for a few years, you'll get something else. Well, I'm going on 20 years now, and even though I would like to get another BAM case for my alto, um, I really don't need one. It's just as well built and secure for my instrument as it's ever been. Uh, likewise, whenever I took the position at the University of Nebraska, I discovered we had over 20 professional model Selmer saxophones dating from Mark 6s and 7s, Series 2s, Series 3s, etc. But they were in terrible cases. The cases had just been destroyed. So I put in for a grant and we bought over 20 BAM cases ranging from soprano all the way to the, uh, the great rolling baritone cases. Now 17 years later they show scars, bumps, and bruises, but the saxophones have been really well protected. One thing that I've always wondered about is why BAM didn't come out with a double case. You know, double cases are all the rage right now, but they're so expensive and I, I couldn't understand why BAM didn't come up with one. I kept asking my friend Carol, Carol, when are we going to see something from BAM? It's in the works, it's in the works. And where they did offer like a little hip-hop I think it was called a soprano attachment that could go on your trekking case. I wasn't really all that comfortable with that. So I decided I'll wait and see what happens. Uh, sure enough, uh, during COVID, I'm on my favorite website, Meridian Winds, and um, they have one. In fact, this is the first double case that was brought to the United States, and I bought it. Um, now, that's something I want to tell you. I don't get special deals or reparations or uh, sponsorship from any of the reviews that I do. That's just, I don't believe in it. Now, I paid full price for this case through Meridian Winds, and I decided to do so uh, and wait on, um, on doing the review. I've had this case about six months now. Um, maybe longer, but I decided to give myself an early 50th birthday present and I wanted to wait. Typically I'll get a case and I'll review it for a couple weeks and just kind of kick it around a little bit, give you my impressions. This was something that I know a lot of you are interested in, so I wanted to make sure that I took time to have it, use it, travel with it, and let you know how it works. So tell you what, without further ado, why don't we start looking at the outside of the case? Okay, so let's take a look at the outside of the case. The case is covered with this uh, high-density ABS plastic. If we can get a little closer to it, you can kind of see the, the texture on the side of the case. You can hear it. Um, it will, if I turn it to the side here, you can see it will show some scuffs and some scars. Nothing unusual. It has on the bottom here uh, these feet that keep the case about a quarter of an inch off the ground. Um, has metal attachments uh, both here in the back for the backpack straps. Very cool. Um, it does have a gusset that runs all the way around the case that basically folds over so you can see that uh, no water or debris can get in. Um, I will say that where I do appreciate that these hinges are metal, I would like to have seen a piano style hinge 
uh, where it goes the full length. It just adds more stability, not only to the back spine of the case. Um, it does have two pockets. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> This does look like carbon fiber, but it is not carbon fiber. And you can see here that there are some scuffs and scratches. Uh, it cleans very well. It's going to happen when you have a case. It has a retractable handle. The fittings are metal. Now, something I want to show you, like I said in the preview, not everything about this case is ideal. And I want to share with you some of the things that, uh, you know, are a little perplex perplexing for me. Okay, first of all, it has two latches. There is no redundant system, meaning there is no uh, secondary security strap. And these hinges have been getting a little bit of scrutiny in the saxophone world because you can easily bump into them and they pop open easily, okay? Now that being said, it very might be uh, possible for one uh, latch to get hit but you know the chances of both latches getting hit you know i don't know as soon as i say that uh, that's not going to happen of course it happens but it is a very easy quick release system which is both good and bad something that i find a little bit more disturbing about the latch than just the ease of operation is if we can look let me see if i can get my camera down in here a little bit better okay there we go. So here's what I'll show you. This back portion is metal, but the linkage, sorry, the linkage and this outside portion is plastic. I don't know that it would have been all that much more money to create a lock out of metal. Now it will lock with a key, which helps a great deal, but guess what? I would have really liked to have had this be metal because the constant, opening and closing, opening and closing that you're going to do hundreds of, hundreds of times could very well break over time. Uh, I don't have any doubt that BAM wouldn't be coming to the rescue and fix it. Nevertheless, there it is. Uh, it has your typical um, uh, D carabiner rings that screw on uh, to ensure that the, uh, the D ring does not open. The straps are the typical BAM straps, incredibly well designed. Here, let me adjust my camera for you guys. Incredibly well designed, very well stitched, uh, has a rubber backing on it. Really, really enjoy this. Okay, so let's take a look here on the back, okay? The two pockets are made out of Cordura, very strong, very heavy, nice stitching on the um, on the zipper, YKK pulls, pulls uh, which fit in the hand well, and they move very smoothly. I would like to have seen a little bit um, smoother or bigger pull on this one. I know it's a smaller pocket, but you know, the bigger pulls, pulls nice. Uh, these have holes in them, so you can lock them with a secondary lock, aftermarket lock. Um, uh, but oddly enough, on this one, uh, don't put your wallet or your watch or your keys or anything in there because it can be opened. So we have two pockets here. This one is roughly 15 inches by 11 inches and then about nine and a half, 10 inches on the short side. This is eight inches by five inches on the tall side. Uh, where this is very, very cool, um, I will say that it does hold a lot. I'm not always 100% secure with having the stuff that I carry with me, and I'm a gear junkie, um, having it against my back. So I think one of the things I will tell you is you have to make sure that when you when you pack the, uh, the case, uh, that you do so in a way that um, doesn't create any sharp points or else it's gonna be sticking in your back. But just to show you what I have, in here, okay? This is my Patel Handies that I use for Soprano. Um, this is my mouthpiece case that holds uh, all my 
alto saxophone and soprano saxophone mouthpieces. I like to have that case with me and it, it fits very easily in here. Um, I carry this bag. Shameless plug, shameless plug for dear old Nebraska. And it carries, uh, the reason why I use this case is it allows me to carry a lot of my hardware. Um, my reed case, which is on my desk. Haha, <laughs> it would normally be there. Um, and in this pocket right here, I carry my mouthpiece cap, my ligatures, uh, neck strap, things like that. So it's plenty, plenty of of space for all the accoutrement that you're going to have as a saxophone player. One thing that I will tell you, let's take a look at the inside of the case, but before we do, here's one of my drawbacks. If you have to get out all your stuff and have it ready to put on, when you put the case back down, if I can show you, uh, I'll tilt here from the side. You can see that the case is lopsided, okay? Because I didn't take anything out of here, now, it's stable, but when you have something else in there, it makes it a little rocky. Now, inside of the case, it opens easily. The fit, you can hear that, is very, very strong, okay? It holds uh, the molding for both um, the soprano and the alto, I think probably follows along the lines of the Selmer saxophones. This case is created for a two-piece saxophone, meaning it has um, uh, detachable necks. Um, the case, if I could show you from up here, the Soprano doesn't sit like this. It sits sideways, thus putting an ad uh, extra added protection on the keys. Um, the Soprano does not move. It does not move. This is molded padding. It does not move at all. And the padding, uh, you can see here, there are pads that protect. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five floating pads that the saxophone can be on, plus there's a heavy uh, padding there. This padding on the side is about a half inch, but it's very dense. It is covered in a beautiful velvet feeling uh, fabric. Uh, it's crush resistance. Um, there is heavy padding up here on the top. Um, and this is probably molded after a Mark VI or a Selmer. The saxophone does not move. Um, you know, you might have some greater challenges if you have a, a Kyle Worth uh, or uh, maybe a vintage Busher or something like that because this fits pretty snug. Uh, I have my gap cap on, but I really don't need it. Uh, not in this case, because there's no movement. Um, and the case is snug, but not to the point where you feel like you're gonna be bending keys. Now, one thing I will tell you that is a little bit of a challenge, I'll show you. When I take the saxophone out, it's a little heavy and can cause the case to tip. Now, that isn't helped by the fact that the two pockets are creating a point of instability down below. But I'll tell you, that became an issue for maybe about two or three uses. And then now when I play, I make sure I have all of my stuff out. I have my saxophones out and I always have a hand on the case. Not ideal, but you know what? When you're trying to create a case that's um, somewhat affordable, uh, and by affordable, that's a, a relative term, uh, and uh, creating it in the footprint that you have, this case is about the size, a little bit, less tall than a, a wooden saxophone case, and just slightly bigger than uh, a gig case, a gig bag or uh, like uh, one of their um, uh, cabin cases. Uh, it is thus far been an excellent case for me. Um, it, the weight is what you would expect. It's a little heavy, but not terrible. Uh, we put the specs of how much it weighs in the written article online. So be sure to go to www.thesaxphones.org and check it out. But uh, all in all, I've been very happy with it. This case uh, cost me $780. Now I know what you're saying. Oh my God, $780. Well, 
BAM cases are worth their money. So as you can see, the BAM double case is really a viable option for somebody who wants or needs something like that. Now there are other cases on the market and we did an extensive review of double cases that you can see on the saxophonist.org. Just simply go to www.thesaxophonist.org and check it out. Here's what I'll tell you from my experience. Um, you can get carbon fiber options, um, Wiseman and Manning make cases. I know that the Wiseman cases are very inventive and very cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would really love to check them out. But that's gonna be over $2,000 and a pretty long waiting list, not including shipping uh, for the case. Um, also, if you get the version in leather, it's gonna be over $1,000, not including shipping. And, and what I will tell you is, if you're one of those people who's like, you know what, I would gladly pay the extra $500 or $1,000 or $1,200, then go ahead and do it. Um, I will tell you something with two kids, uh, even as a professor at a university and and <clears throat> and having two incomes in our family, let me tell you something: six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a saxophone case makes a big difference. Um, here's what I like about it: I like the fact that it has a tradition and a history. BAM cases are cases that are standard stock cases for some of the finest saxophones in the world, including the new Selmer Supreme. Um, I love the history of the company. Um, they use quality materials. Uh, they use um, a wonderful system of uh, ABS plastics and paddings. Um, they have great customer service. Like I said, at the university, our, our saxophones, over 20 of them, are in BAM cases. And we really, except for aesthetic, uh, aesthetic issues with wear and tear, over 17 years of college students using them, they are just as strong and tough and durable as they as they were the day that we bought them. Um, this is a portable uh, option. Some of the downsides, I would like to have had metal locks. Um, I would like to actually have a keyed or a twist type, maybe a piano hinge uh, or a road case type hinge just to know that it's locked. Um, this does have key options. I like the backpack straps. Um, I don't necessarily like having the pockets next to the body, but as long as you pack it uh, correctly and don't put anything sharp in there, you're not really gonna notice a difference. There's a lot of room for both uh, the instruments and your equipment, and at the price of $780, if you're a weekend warrior, you don't need to do this. Uh, you know, I have a, uh, a luggage cart that I've had for over 30 years that carries all the saxophones and doubles that I've had to do. Uh, but if you don't wanna do this, if you want something that's going to fit on uh, an overhead of an airplane and you're not going to get any grief for it, uh, this is a wonderful option. I certainly would have loved to have had this when I went to China before COVID. So as usual, uh, it was worth the wait. I think f uh, future iterations of the BAM double case is going to uh, be even better. They are going to be coming out with a model that is for straight soprano, but they're not quite yet ready to do that. Be aware of the fact though that with the straight soprano, this one you can take the two necks off. With the straight soprano, it's going to elongate the case a little bit more and so that's going to change the footprint of things. They may be able to put in some interior uh, cases or uh, pockets or something like that, but we'll see. Again, another great offering from BAM and uh, to learn about this review as well as other reviews, educational features, and of course, amazing interviews, go to www.thesaxophonist.org.